So this brings us to the final portion of the lecture um, and the final question slash theme that we need to answer, which is why are ex-Confederate expats and their decision to leave the South after the Civil War important? And then what are their legacies? Well, first, uh, Confederate expats are important in how we understand Confederate reactions to defeat and that some people were so committed to the Confederate cause that they could not fathom living in the South after the Confederacy's demise. These folks refused to be reconstructed and instead of returning to the Union, preferred leaving the South for Latin America because they could not stomach the new social and political orientation of the South, namely the freedom and enfranchisement of former slaves. So those who expatriated give us insight really into some of the more radical responses to Confederate defeat. Secondly, Confederate expats played an important role in the expansion of the lost cause. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the lost cause, just briefly, the lost cause was a negationist myth propagated by Confederate veterans and other people sympathetic with the Confederate cause. And it claims that the Confederate cause during the American Civil War was just heroic and not centered on slavery. The myth also paints Reconstruction as this period in which vindictive Republicans persecuted former Confederates by subjecting them to political subjugation and the humiliation of living as equals with former slaves. So inherent to this lost cause uh, is this victim narrative, as well as the negation of slavery. <clears throat> Many Confederate expats who returned to the United States, such as John Newman Edwards and Edmund Kirby Smith, wrote re recollections of their time abroad, but framed it as a forced exodus to avoid the persecution of the U.S. federal government. The reality of most Confederate expats' self-imposed exile um, is more nuanced than that. Many people just simply could not stomach the end of slavery, an institution that they had grown up with and was all that they had ever known, and which defined just about every aspect of their life. But this is not the story that returning expats wanted to tell in terms of why they left the South. Instead, they leaned into the lost cause and framed their exile as one of the persecuted, meaning they left not because uh, they feared the fallout from the abolition of slavery, but because they feared being thrown in jail or executed by the federal government. And so many of these men who returned to the South after the, uh, after the Civil War in the aftermath of uh, collapse of Confederate expatriation in places like Mexico and Brazil, they wrote recollections of their experience abroad. And one of those men was John Newman Edwards. Uh, he was from Missouri and he expatriated in Mexico after the Civil War. And when expatriation fell apart there, he returned to Missouri. He would go on to found the Kansas City, Kansas City Morning Star newspaper. But he also wrote a uh, recollection of his experience expatriating, expatriating to Mexico with Joe Shelby, which kind of was actually like an epic also. And the narrative really framed Shelby and his men as these uh, persecuted individuals who had no choice but to leave the South from Mexico lest they be thrown in jail by the federal government. So in addition to the manner in which uh, Confederate expats contributed to the lost cause, there's also a lasting legacy of these people in Latin America. For example, the town of Americana in Sao Paulo, Brazil, was one of the only ex-Confederate settlements to succeed in Brazil. The colony was settled by William Norris, uh, an ex-Confederate from Alabama, and the colony survived on watermelon cultivation. To this day, the town celebrates what they call Festa Confederata. Other state is well in Brazil, but Americana is the only collective settlement of ex-Confederate descendants left in Brazil. And these people who descended from the original ex Pat settlers uh, really aggressively defend the legacy of their ancestors. They basically claim that the Civil War was not a, a war fought over slavery, but instead was an unprovoked invasion of the South by radical Northerners. And in defeat, uh, Confederates in the South were persecuted people, and their ancestors immigrated to Brazil because they feared political persecution and imprisonment by the federal government. And so the persistence of this legacy and Festa Confederata in Brazil is a really good example of the transnational nature of the lost cause. 
In addition to the legacies of Confederate expatriation in Latin America, uh, confederados, as they were called, are also prevalent to some extent in popular culture. For example, in 1969, 20th Century Fox produced a feature film starring Rock Hudson and John Wayne that depicted a group of former Confederates who expatriated to Mexico after the Civil War. The film was titled The Undefeated, and it basically promotes ex uh, Confederate expats as a persecuted people who only left the South because of the tyranny of the Federal Army and Northern carpetbaggers. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the full film, uh, you can probably find it on YouTube. I believe it's free there. Uh, and it's an interesting film to watch um, if you're interested in kind of seeing how uh, tenets of the lost cause are translated into popular film and television. But in addition to this film, ex-Confederates have showed up in more contemporary television. Uh, for example, they're depicted in HBO's series Westworld, as well as AMC's Hell on Wheels. And to a certain extent, they are kind of depicted in this light of persecuted people fleeing the South, heroically kind of facing challenges from bandits and whoever else. Um, alrighty, well, that concludes my lecture. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it. My thanks to Dr. Pryor for allowing me to, to share this content with you all. Uh, if anyone has any questions or is interested in some reading material on this topic, um, here's my email, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Like I said, provide any kind of uh, reading material that uh, may be of interest to you guys on this topic. Alrighty, well, thank you very much, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your semester.